Genevilla to Murica Tete, makes the extra pass. They're waiting, the dish is beyond speed, and she takes care of business with the finish. Tahina into some traffic, makes the extra move, gets the look and banks it home. What a crafty move. Anytime you can average 70 points and hold your opponents to 58, the Santa Clara defense is really good as we see them get a stop, but Colville sticks with it. Colville offensive rebound on the Eleanor Villa miss. Santa Clara's had one lead in this game. It was brief at 14 to 13. They've led for 19 seconds. It's either been tied or WSU has had the lead for the majority of it. Otherwise, what a move by Estera Tuhina. Perfect touch on the floater. Tuhina, oh, good pass. Clark, short jumper. Friendly roll from the front of the iron. It goes. For that missed three-pointer, they're 2 of 12 from beyond the arc. This is a team that shoots 36% from downtown. Clark finds B, knifing towards the hoop. Beyonce with the finish, and Washington State up by eight, their largest lead of the day. Five seconds on the shot clock. Tuhina's shot, and this is off the front of the iron, but Mura Katete under the hoop, able to clean up and make the lay-in. She has made such an impact coming off the bench in that opening round win over Lamar, and her presence has been felt here this afternoon. Good ball movement, sets up the three-pointer, Eleanor Avila, her 50th of the season. WSU has not scored for over five minutes. And, and it looks like Cammie Etheridge just called out a play. I'd like to see a set play from the Cougs, just having some struggles as it's been one shot and finally coming alive, Wallach, who great game last time versus Lamar, has been slow to get going. Cougars have led it by as many as nine. Good pass, Genevilla finds Clark, takes a Cougar roll, almost a 360 twirl on the rim before dropping through the cylinder. This nine point lead tied for the largest of the game for Washington State. Baraki shot blocked by Clark. Talking about it, Steven, if they can get it going from beyond the arc like they are prone to do, that could really tighten things up. Gardner just able to trickle that shot in. Both her and Olivia Pollard earning first team all West Coast Conference honors. Jessica Clark getting some separation and the basket is good. And Bella Murakatete has been on the bench for a good chunk of this second half. She picked up her third foul, but those other players between Clark and Coville doing a nice job spelling here. Corner three to Hina right on target. The lead now at 13 for Washington State. Also, the turnover number been a lot lower. Tuhina, long two, right on target. The dagger from Tuhina, the lead swells for the Cougars. Washington State had some trouble with Lamar's pressure last game, so it'd be interesting as we see Bella Maricatete get free. Gardner with a great vision. You can see Gardner and Maricatete exchanging a smile after that. Just misses, Gardner punches it her own way, sets her feet, should be a three, it is, it splashes in! Right in front of the Washington State bench, much to the pleasure of the crowd here in Pullman. Left short, rebound for Washington State, Tuhina. Over to Gardner, feeds Villa, good touch off the window. Unselfish ball movement again. Hey, Washington State is a one seed, gets to host until the semifinals and the finals. Here's Gardner, she's got it! Right on target, Gardner scorching in this game and a steal on the other end. Hey, what a spark Gardner's been off the bench, just you know, relentless, getting a, a, a defensive rebound there, but then providing the spark on the offensive end. Here's Tuhina trying to get in on the action, she does. All of a sudden, it's raining threes here at Beasley Coliseum as the Cougs are pulling away. Washington State fighting to have another game this season. And of course, the cherry on top of that is it would be right back here at home in transition up to Tuhina. Excellent dish by Eleanor Avila, and it's the finish by Tuhina. 69-43, timeout call. The run for Washington State, a 12 to nothing stretch in the Cougars' favor. Just a pair of talented players and talented freshmen. One from Italy, Eleonora, and one from Arlington, Washington, and Jenna. Here's Jessica Clark, hook shot, she makes it. Jessica Clark now with eight points. That ties her season high. She had eight earlier this year against Stanford, make it a 14 to nothing Washington State run. Again, next year, these two teams will become very familiar with each other, these two programs, uh, with Washington State set to play Santa Clara as a conference foe. 
beginning next year. And you can't hang your head on the season if you're Santa Clara. I know WCU's come out and we see Clark knock down another shot, five of six now. Shot clock turned off and WSU can just dribble this one out. Steven, the fourth quarter was the difference. WSU outscoring Santa Clara 30 to 15. And the biggest part of that fourth quarter was the bench. 27 points from the bench tonight for the Cougars. The difference in the game, 17 assists as a team. Very unselfish play from the whole team and just a great overall performance for the Washington State Cougars tonight. WSU with 20 wins on the season, just the second time in program history. They have hit that mark. Santa Clara's year comes to an end, 25 and nine on the season. What an outstanding year they had. And WSU, their season will continue as they move on to the WBIT quarterfinals. Balance, that was the theme we talked about throughout the game, Stephen, and it rung true, especially in the fourth quarter for Washington State. The balance was outstanding. WSU did a great job of not turning the ball over like they did on Thursday and just able to really secure themselves a nice victory. Next up for the Cougs, Thursday night here in Pullman against Toledo in the WBIT quarterfinals. Well, for my broadcast partner, Stephen Madison, and our entire ESPN Plus broadcast crew here in Pullman, I'm Chris King signing off. Again, the final score, Washington State defeats Santa Clara 73-47. You've been watching the WBIT on ESPN Plus.